Hello, I'm Baldwin Burgess and I'm here with my friend Erik van Dijk. Hi Bolton. How you doing? Good. Good. Erik is my northern neighbor from Holland. Erik, um, we're in Dubai today. Yep. At the uh, Middle East Fund Forum 2013. We're at the Global Growth Summit Day. It's the first day of the event. And then on this day we speak about frontier markets, emerging markets and, and all these exotic places. We also speak a lot about this region. And um, Eric, today in Dubai, we, we've been on camera in Ethiopia, you and I. Yeah. We've been on camera in, in exotic places like Barcelona and Brussels and so on. So, well, for us, those kind of places are f almost more exotic than the exotic ones, right? Increasingly emerging, yeah. indeed. Yeah. What we're going to speak about today, I guess, what I find interesting about you is how does a Dutchman become a Sharia compliant advisor? <laughs> That's kind well, of interesting. Well, Way let, to let's, go. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's then go, go back to. Uh, to Holland uh, or the Netherlands. Huh? Okay. Uh, a lot of people ask always, what is Holland, what is the Netherlands? Well, Holland was the western part of the country, North Holland, South Holland. I'm from the east part, near the German border, mm -hmm. Deutschland, Dutch, ah. that part. And that's the Dutch Bible Belt. So from one side of the family, mm. we're basically uh, Bible Belt, Orthodox Christian. Right. The other side was more Jewish. Mm -hmm. So that's already two major religions there. And if you then bump into friends that are Muslims, you will find out, at least if you're open and try to have an independent view of either one of those religions separately, that the differences between all of them are actually far smaller than what basically, in a way, makes them one big block of well, philosophies that are about ethics. Mm. Uh, so the moment that you understand that, you can actually then find that a lot of the developments that have been going on with the United Nations principles of responsible investment, mm. the ESG movement, are actually very much related to what's going on with Sharia compliant investing, uh, being responsible for the earth, sustainable development in all of those religion based type of investment strategy. It only makes sense that people who actually put thought to uh, the future of our planet. Uh, when I went to school in the 80s, there were 4 billion people. That's almost doubled now. Right. So it's only natural that people who actually start sit down and think, uh, put more value into sustainability and things like that, right? Yeah, yeah and, and in a way, see the ESG people do that. In the West, and then we think, well, that's our kind of thing. Hmm. Uh, others are not that far, but technically you could even say that when you look at Sharia compliance, and how they think about sustainability, then really see what an Islamic bank is all about, think about where the West went with leveraging and now has to go with deleveraging. Mm -hmm. So in a way you could say Sharia compliance was already about sustainability, mm -hmm. namely of leverage versus excess leverage mm -hmm. of banks and other financial institutions. They already had it in there. Indeed. And you know what I also found interesting is, so when we met this morning and we caught up on things, it's funny how we both had the same experience that uh, somehow, uh, on my side it's through ESG, on your side it's through that Sharia uh, uh, format that it is like a window that helps investors move into more exotic markets exactly. like the frontier yeah, markets. Absolutely. That's kind yeah. of interesting, isn't it? Th that's very strange. I mean, the moment that I look at the big pension plans in Western Europe, uh, especially mm -hmm. in Holland, the country where I come from, then you see that they're very international. Yeah. They don't mind any country in the world, there's only always of course but there's there's some regions that they like less mm. and well frontier markets are very much associated with for instance the middle east yeah. which dominates the frontier markets well africa where you are good is also there mm. that's the kind of markets where people instead of saying okay let's go there start saying yeah but isn't there a reason why i shouldn't go there right. and they turn it around however however whenever doing development aid kind of things or thinking about commodities uh, sustainability, people basically are less worried about geography mm. and more worried about, okay, what are we doing for those kind of factors that are now in this theme important? Then you see that the moment you say, okay, sustainability, uh, oil, gas, renewables, uh, poverty, mm. Africa, we need to do something about that, it should be sustainable in the world, that automatically all those regions that are a hard sell mm. become a kind of logical theme within that broader theme called ethical investing or sustainability. Yeah. So they become an easier sell than 
the moment that you would say, hey, I have this fantastic uh, frontier market manager or GCC manager, etc. Mm -hmm. There is a light shining in the financial industry, and it's that sustainable theme. Um, there's more work and attention going to this than you may believe. So yeah, absolutely. It's great to talk to you again. I could we could talk all afternoon. But, um, you know, attention span. Another occasion, another exotic place. Exactly. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Thanks, Eric.